guys, your boy X here. Today we're doing that Demon Slayer Season 3 Episode 2 Live Reaction. So last we left off, your boy Tondro went to the, oh, got to the swords, a swords, Swordsmith Village. I'm over here stuttering. Swordsmith Village. And that's where we got to see, what was her name? Kan Kanji? Kanroji? And uh, Tokido. I'm over here trying to remember their names. <laughs> uh, we got to see them, which we saw them like in season one a long time ago. I think like a brief scene in season two when Rengoku died. But regardless, yeah, so here we are here. And uh, apparently right now, Tandro is on the way to try to find some treasure that she had mentioned. And he ends up running into uh, the other... Hashira in the forest or whatever like spying on her man. Well not spying, but you know, he's just like oh, what the hell are they doing here? So let's go ahead and get started. Remember though guys for more Demon Slayer live reaction slash reviews Make sure you have the subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel boys So try to get to that thick can above so if you can help your boy out hit that subscribe button down below and join the fam I'm About to begin this guys in five four three two one. Let's get <clears throat> the hell is that in the background? Okay, it looks like some kind of like puppet. <laughs> I was thinking it was the uh, old boy. <laughs> Pillar one. Huh? I should try to humiliate. God damn! <laughs> Thought he slapped him at first and hit him with the karate chop. Your voice is very annoying. <laughs> He's not even budging. God dang. Oh my god! Hit that boy with that elbow! <laughs> A demon's presence, perhaps? <laughs> Alright. Roichi type zero. Hmm. <laughs> so you just slapped my hand? He took him! <laughs> Torture training, what? <laughs> Stupid beyond belief. <laughs> this guy's so calm, like his voice, but he's a <laughs> like he's an asshole. <laughs> You can't save lives. Damn, my boy telling him. <laughs> damn, but remember your place. God damn. <laughs> Tell me be having the best facial expressions, dog. <laughs> Act maybe. <laughs> Who is this? Is that a uh, old boy? The the main one we always see. I'm staying listening to your boring speech. Oh shit! <laughs> Damn, boy, not to put it. <laughs> Man, he like one shot in Tanjiro. Oh lord. Alright, we're back. <laughs> I 
<laughs> See you. <laughs> Dipped. Tanjiro with these facial expressions, man. <laughs> Wasn't he here just now? <laughs> okay, so that was him. I was always wondering. Boy rubbing his neck, yeah, you got your ass karate chop. Hmm. A mechanical doll. Hmm, okay. Well, that's... I guess I, I was. I guess that makes sense. I guess. Uh, a hundred and eight moves. Hmm. What was that? What was that? Uh oh. Oh, is he training with it? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Get the little six arms. Type zero, okay. Oh wow, that's that's interesting. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> interesting. Mm -hmm. Three years, three hundred years ago. Whew. Dang. Hmm. There'd be no fixing it. Mm. Hmm. Hand me down. Or legacy, I guess you would say. That boy's a prodigy. Oh my god. So we got talking to crows now, huh? Oh my god! <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry. An inherited memory. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, most likely, obviously, because the dude looked just like Tanjiro. <laughs> oh, he got it. Or did he break the armor? Oh, he's mad. 
Ooh, look at, ooh, look at the wallpaper. I'm <laughs> just like trying to get the wallpaper going. Hmm. Just sniffing for somebody, like, hmm. That boy went up in the tree, what the heck? Hmm. Like he said, like how he said that. Mm -hmm. That Tanjiro, that Tanjiro wishful thinking, that's what I'm talking about. Now get them tears out, get them tears out. Hmm. <laughs> Just walk by. <laughs> Who are you again? Oh, my God. This guy is something else. Ha <laughs> Oozing spite. Damn, I thought it was thundering over here for real. Got them real sound effects. like a wind-up doll <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what how I thought it was like it worked but uh-oh hmm. just gotta fix the arm <laughs> oh snap that's what we're doing times are about the train <laughs> i know red's like oh you know it's raining out here right and he only has five arms of the six so it's not really like a full-blown training and the boy had to switch to uh some mallets <laughs>
<laughs> Your hair's too long. Get a haircut. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Please say them. <laughs> Dang, that's just saying uh, there's no breaks, just ass whoopings. <laughs> I wonder if he's for real here because I'm like I feel like Tandra has learned some stuff I wouldn't go as far back as to say this we don't know the basics but damn he was getting his ass whooped <laughs> Damn, but some of my arm the doll with swords. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that boy look like he's damn near dead. Three days without water. Better start drinking that rain water. No, <laughs> he <laughs> Yes! Yo! Oh, he's, he's dead. He died mid fight, huh? <laughs> that boy said I'm heading to the I'm coming home I'm coming No, oh, this man went smooth to the afterlife The hell was that? Oh, snap! Okay! But calling it on, huh? You don't get a little food and a little water, all of a sudden you become good, huh? Ooh! I'm gonna give you some food. Oh God, please. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh, okay. Everybody Tandro with the training now? Damn. But I'm about to cut this full head smooth off. Oh man, he's full of stuff. 
stupid. No hesitation. Oh boy, I got a haircut real quick. Oh, hold up! Let's go! Ouch! Oh god, this fool's the sword broke. I forgot that's not his sword right now, but oh damn! Oh, he cut that fool head smooth off, huh? Wait, there's a... There's a hidden sword inside the door? Wow. The hidden treasure. Wait, did we? We didn't get the ending last time. Okay, oh, let's see what this ending is like. We got to open it, that's right. All right, let's see here. We got Baby Girl. Oh, is it just gonna be her? Maybe, let's see. You know I'm about to get caught, but okay, here we go with this fool here. He has no emotion, man. I, I hope, well, I mean, I don't mind it. I was about to say, at least hopefully later on, maybe he'll show a little bit of emotion or something. Maybe his backstory will be a reason why and not, he doesn't. Look, look at him! Back in the day, boy, smiling at that iron fish! I got some mushrooms! Boy, all happy back in the day. This end of song is going in, though. Now he's all, like, calm and shit. I like his design, though. I think it's the color scheme. Mm. Okay. Oh, come on! You foldable can do no wrong. Who the heck is that? Uh, what was that? Her before? That kind of looked just like her. Oh, look at that. Okay. All right, let's see what's popping off now. <laughs> why does she have them? Why do they both have masks on? Oh my goodness. What's the secret? Oh my god! Wow. A sword from over 300 years ago. <laughs> it's like, we gotta get back to that training, buddy. No food, no water again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Alright, so. Very interesting episode here. Um, we have the Hashira basically. He gets the key from um, Kotsetsu, which we find out that's his name, Kotsetsu. Gets the key. He uses the key to activate the doll. He basically he basically trains with the doll. We find out that this doll is like um, a very ancient, um, articulate doll from like, I think they said 300 years ago or however long because it's basically been passed down from generation to generation um, in Kosetsu's family. And like this fool over here was training when it ended up breaking the arm or well, one of the arms I cut the arm off and he's just like oh yeah I'm done training whoo that was some good training man ha well hey it broke my sword but uh I'm gonna take this sword and you know like oh my god like he doesn't care right and, and we find out through Kosetsu that basically this doll 
which I'm guessing it was that swordsman that we got in Tanjiro's like dream or whatever um, that his ancestor was talking to. Uh, we find out that this doll is basically replicating his fighting style. The only the reason it has six arms is because you know it that's the only way they could replicate his fighting style. Like I guess he's just doing so much crazy shit that they're like, oh, I can't do. We gotta put six arms on this doll. That's the only way. I can, I can only imagine the person that made the doll like. I don't know. <laughs> um, but anyway, so um, once they go to the doll, they want to make sure that it was working. They wind it up like a damn wind up doll in the back. And it does work, but you know, it's missing the arm and everything. So the boy's like, you know what? I wanna I wanna get revenge on this Hashira dude, man. F that kid, man. Hey, Tanjiro, I want you to train with this doll, and I want you to be better than him. Let's do it. I'm like, oh yeah, okay. So Tanjiro starts training with the doll, and he's going like, I, I think they said three days. Might be wrong, but I feel like they said three days he went without, like, food and water or whatever, right? Like, he started to be, like, skinny. Like, you can see on his face, he's over here training. And it, and it was funny because um, the doll didn't have the swords at first. They had some little wooden, wooden, uh, I don't even know what they're called, but just, made, like, wooden swords, right? Um, at first. But towards the end, when, um, after he, like, landed, I think, like, he landed, like, a little knee strike. And that was because he was, like, on the verge of death. So close to that. I mean, like, I'm not gonna lie, this episode was so funny, but I feel like it was unintentional uh, intentionally funny, but I was I was surprised how funny it was. Like, this fool was on the verge of death, literally. Like, he was like crossing that river. Like, he don't boy <laughs> ghost Tanjiro. That fool landed in the river, whatever. And he ends up finding a new smell. And basically that smell helps him to detect, I guess, like where movement is coming from so he can tell like where the strikes are going to be coming from, where he can dodge them and whatnot right now. So that's cool. He's able to land like a little strike at first. So then the boy's like, all right, now I'm going to add the sword. So, you know, later on, like, and Tanjiro eats or whatever. But now later on, he's training with the swords. And then he's able to like cut the head off but he hesitates at first because he doesn't want to break um Kasetsu's doll you know after he gave him that good old speech like hey and I, I do like that speech too I skipped over it but he kind of made him feel better when he said that like hey you know um I know you're responsible for the doll right now but hey maybe like you know maybe you know you can't accomplish the goal or something at this moment in time but somebody else will you know whether that's like your your children or your grandchildren or you know in the future somebody in your lineage will do it right and he mentioned himself he was like you know i want to kill muzan but i might not be able to do it i might die you know but i know somebody in the future will do it so i like how he said that to him and yeah so tanjiro he like hesitates at first because he doesn't want to break because his consensus was like yeah go ahead and cut it you know i'll fix it however and then so um he dodges the blade that it was going and he cuts his head off and when when his head falls over we see that there's actually like an old sword within and that was like you know the end of the episode and next episode is called like the the sword from 300 years ago right now interesting right because i'm like okay well they're making tanjiro a sword so i doubt he's gonna use this sword but <laughs> But it would be cool, although I feel like if this sword was 300 years old, I don't know how well the blade would be, you know? Like, I feel like it would probably, like, break easily or crumple. I don't know necessarily how um, swords work in that way. You know, I know they're steel, right? So, but I just feel like it would be, like, maybe rusted or something. I, like, you know, since it's in the doll, I don't, and in the sheep, I don't know how that works. So, but I feel like it would just be, like, weak because it's so old, right? Um, but I guess we'll see next episode how that goes. But, yeah, very good episode. Nice little training for Tanjiro. I'm, I'm guessing he's going to train a little bit more maybe later down the road, but we'll see. Um, but, yeah. Uh, that's all guys remember for more Demon Slayer live reaction slash reviews y'all make sure to subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel hit the bell to get over I drop my videos also follow your boy on Instagram Twitter Discord TikTok all that good stuff in the description box below like the video guys like the video comment your favorite part of it was as always guys it's been your boy X and I'm out deuces